I'm gonna share with you how to fix a Starfield color grading mess on the PC. Shout out to my community, specifically to Matus and Frosty for letting me know, hey, yes, this mod that you are recommending, it works, you just need to do this. So I'm going to explain you how to get this working. It's very easy. All you have to do, link in the description of the video, download this mod from Nexus Mods, okay? This mod is called No Color Filters. Please, okay? So what is this color filter? What are we talking about? We're talking about this, okay? So the developers have this picture and they decided, hmm, <laughs> why don't we just screw this up? Like just completely destroy the image with a color filter. <laughs> what a great idea. This is not a reshade mod. So we're talking about a modder that figured out the where are the original you know, texture files before they messed it up. So this was before they added these color filters. It is not a reshade preset. So this is how the game should look like. Look at the before and after pictures. This is just insane. Look, before, after. It's just shocking how these developers think that this was a good idea. Look at this, before, after. This is just green. Why would you want to mess up your game this big, this bad? It just blows my mind. Look, before, after, absolutely insane. You cannot even see what's going on here. And on top of that, they're raising the black level. So this mod is going to fix the black level race too. So here's what you have to do. Go to this link, Nexus Mod. Come here to Files download this okay and after you download this you will have this file called neutral lots no color filter so you just extract that and it's going to be a folder called data okay so all you have to do is go with this data folder copy this data folder come here to documents this works for the Steam version, okay? If you have the Game Pass version, they also explain you how to get it working. So go to Documents, My Games, a Starfield, and then copy that data folder here. So what that data folder is going to have is the original uh, lots of the game. So before they messed it up, that's all you have to do here. And then the second thing that you have to do is you have to create this file called a Starfield Custom, okay? Starfield Custom. So how do you create this file? Very easy. You just click copy this file. For example, just come here to the save folder, paste this here, then change the name of this file. Change the name to a Starfield Custom, okay? Then you open that file and you're going to type in this. Or oh, you don't have to type it in, you just you can just copy and paste it from here. You just come here, let me show you. You come here to description on the mod, on Nexus mod, you come to the description, and all you have to do is to copy this first. You have to copy this archive. You have to copy and paste this part. You see it here at the beginning of the file. And then you have to copy and paste this cost, this uh, custom uh, settings here. Display. Uh, you copy and paste this part. Okay. You see it here. See how I did it here. This, this is what you have to do. Copy and paste that. And you save that. Done. You open the game. There's no black level race. There's no color filters. The game looks how it should look. Why the developers messed it up? For They are purposely doing this. Somebody needs to get fired here. I'm sorry. <laughs> the person who decided, or the, or the group of persons who decided that adding a color filter to this game, raising the black levels, and making the game look green, and it, somebody needs to get fired because it is making the game look worse. 
who thought that this was a good idea? This game now looks okay in terms of the colors. It looks good. Okay, this is green. We don't have black level rays, so it looks okay. I just It just blows my mind. So what are the settings I am using right now on my TV? So this is gonna work for every single display, okay? All TVs and monitors on Windows. For Xbox, I am also going to work and trying to get similar results with the TV settings. For Xbox, people who want to play this game, you cannot do this. I'll try to figure out a way to fix the black levels using the TV settings if you have an LG OLED, okay? I will do that too. I'll see if I can do a video about that. But for the PC, this works. And if, if specifically, if you have an LG OLED, I'm gonna share with you the settings I am using to play the game. Two options I'm gonna give you. One for black frame insertion and one without black frame insertion. So the first option I'm gonna share with you is an SDR HDR trick. So all you have to do is turn on HDR on Windows for this LG OLEDs and max out this SDR HDR slider, okay? So now with that SDR HDR slider max out, we have Max CLL 498. So all you have to do is come here to settings, you step on select mode, 1113, 111, and then we're going to change this mastering peak and max CLL to 540. Okay, then we come here to brightness, dynamic tone mapping. So these settings are for OLED Motion Pro high on the LG C1 or any OLED Motion Pro on the C2 and the C3. So at 60 frames per second, OLED Motion on my LG C1. Dynamic tone mapping, a screen brightness 38, okay? So now on top of that, I have some custom settings for the colors and also to get more visibility near black. So it looks like there is no black from insertion at all. It looks very, very good. So I'm gonna share that with you too. So we have color depth 50 and I also have here under game optimizer, I have FPS, game genre preset on FPS with black and white stabilizer back to the default 10. So this game genre preset on FPS allows me to use the sharpening of the TV if I want to. In this case, I, I don't want to use it. It looks, it looks good without sharpening. So I have all the motion pro high and I'm going to share with you the 22 point calibration uh, settings that, that I am using right now and the color settings I'm using right now. Now, this is my personal preference. This is not what I would recommend as, you know, for everybody. It's just what I am using, what I like. This is not necessary, but I will share with you what you can do if you don't wanna do this to just increase the visibility near black. So what I'm doing is I'm killing the blue light uh, gain, okay? So this is blue light killer settings. I love these settings. I love how they look. So we go down here Two point calibration, warm 50, blue, minus 50, green, minus 22, okay? And then we come here to 22 points calibration and we start at the code value 15, you see here, red, green, and blue, seven. Then go up to 48, red and green, six, blue, 12. Then go to 135, red and green, five, blue, seven. 218, red, green, four, blue, eight. 282, red, three, green, four, blue, 10. 332, red, two, green, two, blue, 12. 374, red and green, and one, blue on eight. 410, red and, green, red and green, zero, blue, six. 442, red and green, zero, blue, four. 469, red and green, zero, blue, three. 496, red and green, zero, blue, four. 518, red, green, zero, uh, red, green, and blue, zero. And from that on, everything on zero. 
So now, if you don't want to do this blue light killer settings, okay? Here's what you can do for All Emotion Pro High. You can just keep it at default, just use Warm 50, and then just keep this at default. You don't have to do any calibration, but to increase the visibility near black, all you have to do is come here to this 22-point calibration, code, go, come to the minimum code value, and then you're going to increase this red, green, and blue in seven, and then you go to the next code value, you do red, green, and blue six, then the next one, red, green, blue, five. You get the idea? Red, green, blue, four. Red, green, blue, three. Two, and code value 332. And the last one, code value 374, red, green, blue, one. Okay? That's the idea. So that's going to increase the visibility near black to use OLED Motion Pro High. Now, what if you don't want to use black from insertion what we're going to do instead is we're going to change this uh, dynamic tone mapping we're going to use tone mapping off and we're going to change this screen brightness to 41 okay so they are equivalent settings but now with tone mapping off you get better highlight details it just looks better so with tone mapping off and screen brightness 41 you can turn off all Emotion Pro and just use sample and hold and hope you can get a high frame rate here on Starfield um, and that's that's what I would recommend just for the best HDR effect so now in movement the difference just absolutely gigantic like there's no way I can play the game sample and hold because all I can get is 60 frames per second on this game with my 3080 using DLSS so the DLSS mod link in the description of the video there is another dlss mod that people are recommending me uh, it is better because it's not using reshape um, and they say it's more stable than this one this one is working well for me but i'm gonna see if i find the other dlss mod and have those two in the description of the video so you can try both if you want so i'm using right now dlss escape upscaling from 1080p to 4k okay and i have high settings on the game and i'm barely getting 60 frames per second i'm sure this is gonna drop below 60, especially on the planets where you have rain. People are telling me that the performance there is just atrocious, okay? So I, ha I have to use uh, All Emotion Pro if I can get 60 frames per second. Uh, but yeah, it's up to you. Those are the two options that I recommend. And of course, you can just use SDR if you want. Uh, this looks much better, but if you want to use SDR, this is going to work just for the base game on SDR. It looks gonna look very good. And I would recommend you to try the settings I shared on the previous video, which, which is the settings I used to match my Pioneer Kuro Plasma TV. It looks fantastic. They are also blue light killer settings. And I absolutely love how the picture looks with those settings. So that's it, finally. If you have any questions, let me know. I struggle a lot yesterday with this game to be honest this mod i didn't read <laughs> the entire thing i just copy and paste it didn't work and i thought that this thing was optional i thought that this was optional uh, because i saw here bonus the word i saw here the word bonus and start tweaks and i thought oh these are just additional tweaks that are not necessary for the mod to work I didn't do it and that's why it didn't work okay uh, but people told me so thank you for that shout out to my community that's that's why I do these videos sometimes I'm struggling I don't know how what to do <laughs> I haven't been able to figure it out and you tell me so yeah what else can we do to get a better picture in Starfield if you have a different a display and you cannot do these tweakings for this SDR SDR trick you can try to launch the game with auto HDR. So now, I was able to do that, but I was getting crashes because of reshade and maybe because of this DLSS mod and the texture mods or maybe because of a combination of all of them. But there is a way to launch the game with auto HDR by creating uh, an executable. So you basically copy and paste 
the Starfield executable and you change the name to Far Cry of 5. And because Far Cry 5 supports Auto HDR, the game is going to launch with Auto HDR. And it worked for me. I see that Auto HDR was kicking in, but the game was crashing. Now, there is another way to do that. There is a mod that you can download on Nexus Mod. I'll see if I have the link in the description of the video. And that mod, you just copy it. You just have to select where you have the executable and the mod is going to patch that and have the game launching on with auto HDR. So I didn't get that to work, but I don't really care too much because the SDR HDR trick with these settings is the same thing as auto HDR basically. But with that mod, you might be getting 10 bits conversion or something like that. And it might look a little bit better with a little bit less color banding, maybe. I couldn't test that difference, okay? So that's, that's the only thing remaining that we would be able to potentially do to improve the HDR if you have a different display, especially if you don't have an LG OLED to tweak all the settings that I share with you here you would have to launch the game with auto HDR and hope that it doesn't have the black level race because after this fix it should be all right but in my experience auto HDR sometimes it does have sometimes not most of the time it has the black level race so there's a little bit of tweaking that needs to be done to fix that so yeah that might be a future video I, I don't know I, I, I don't want to dedicate too much this game i really wanted to just record this video and uninstall it okay but yeah i'm going to do the xbox video with tv settings maybe wait until the six if to see if they fix something if they change this bad decision um but yeah i want to offer a solution with tv settings if you have an lg OLED with an with an xbox so you can get a better experience because this is for the pc only so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions